So we'll begin with Professor Dr. Irvin Laszlo. Irvin Laszlo, PhD, is a philosopher of science, a leading systems theorist, author, co-author, and editor of over 100 books, and was twice nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. He was a celebrated child prodigy pianist and is a pioneering theorist of the Akashic field. And Irvin is the founder and president of the international think tank, the Club of Budapest, and the Laszlo Institute for New Paradigm Research. So over now to Dr. Irvin Laszlo. Okay, thank you, Kurt, for this introduction. And thank you for all the attendees for, for coming here together for this meeting, for this launch. It is a great pleasure and a privilege to have this meeting that I have authored together with David Lorimer and 35 invited eminent guests. I have a little candle as well. Here it is. I have it going all the time. For you, this is a time for candles for light, for this light on light and on light. Let me say a few words, but only a few words. I don't need to say much long. Here is the book. The book is here. And the book is what you are talking about. But the book has a meaning, has a significance. And that is what I want to say a few words about. Today, I can remind you of a popular saying, but very wise and never as relevant as today. Crisis is danger as well as opportunity. If you op open any public me news media today, what you get is a catalog of crisis. If you open the pages of the great Apsi book, you get a mini encyclopedia of opportunity. Now this opportunity would be purely utopian if we wouldn't have a motivation to change, to move from here, whether down or up. Obviously we want up. But if times were normal, which they never entirely are, but they are, can be more or less normal, today they are abnormal, they are extraordinary. And this extraordinary time in which we live is our passport to, to change, the passport for transformation. Transformation doesn't occur unless and until there is a motivation and will for it. A precondition of that will and motivation is that we perceive that the current condition of humanity and the planet, the current planetary condition altogether, is unsustainable, that we have got to change. It's not an alternative. It's not something we can choose. It's something we must do and do it well. This book is meant to help to do it well in its 35 or so chapters, he described the upshift, providing a great map, a, 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 the great picture, providing the upshift of thinking, the upshift of intuition, the upshift to healing, and the upshift of, 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 of particular political and social moves. All of this is at your disposal. It's not utopian, because this upshift time has come it is here whether we want it or not, but it's up to us to make it up, not a downshift, a downslide, but an upshift. This is the, the time in which we live, the tremendous chance, the opportunity. Upshift to what? Obviously, to the next rung, the next step in our evolutionary history on this planet. The next step which cannot be war and violence, cannot be degeneration, and crisis, first a crisis. The next step can only be peace and harmony on the planet. So the upshift is to peace and harmony. And how this is to happen is described in this book. Many other books are published, some by Light on Light Press, other publishers as well. I have written several of them. But what you have here today is a compendium. It's an encyclopedia, I call it. It's something which approaches this topic. How do we upshift? Where do we upshift to? That is the topic here. 35 brilliant contributions to it. I've only written a very brief forward and a very brief conclusions to it. I want to have 
our invited guests to have the floor to speak. And they have spoken. It is here for you to listen and hopefully to do something in the interest of uplifting, because this is not a private matter. It's not something you do alone. It's something that if you do penetrate, if it impacts, it spreads. We have a consciousness on this planet, which is a human consciousness. And this human consciousness, as Erwin Schrödinger, Jung, so many other people have been saying, is one. It's indivisible, undivisible. So here we have an opportunity for each one of us to upshift. And this book will help on that. Because if you upshift, if I upshift, together we'll upshift other people around us. This is a non-local condition. Non-locally, what we do penetrates and becomes the great we, the great us, the great whole system. I will not take more of your time. I just want to say the time has come to upshift. The opportunity is here to do so. Humanity and on the on the planet altogether, but mainly the human unfortunate actions is providing the impetus, providing the motivation. It did its part. Now we sit on the, on the power, we sit on the very edge of survival. And we move forward because we have to move forward. A small contribution, but there are no small contributions in a quantum universe. Everything that occurs interacts with all other things. Let that thing that occurs here be your thing, the reader's thing, the reader's chance, the reader's will and wisdom to shift up to the next level, which is peace and harmony on the planet. I wish you good reading. And I wish all of us here is great thanks to David Lorimer, my co-author, and the, and the Galileo Commission. All of us, I wish a good upshift, a good year, and a good epoch that is dawning for us. A new epoch, a tremendous historical change. Thank you again. And I hand it over now to Kurt and to all the other distinguished guests of this wonderful meeting.